Hey everyone, it is Andrew here, and today we are talking about HomeKit Secure Video, a new feature that launched with iOS 13.2 after being promised in iOS 13, but it has finally been delivered by the first third-party camera, which is the Logitech Circle 2. So a lot of other cameras are gonna uh, support this, including Anchor's Eufy cameras that were just released. Uh, Netatmo is also promising it for their indoor and outdoor cameras. So there's a lot of other players coming to the game. So this is just me a general overview of how to use the new HomeKit Secure Video, how it works, what you can do with it, why it's better than paying for external storage through other applications. Uh, and if you wanna pick up the Circle 2, which is the only one to support it at the moment, you can find links for that down below in the description. So otherwise, let's go ahead and jump in to the home app and let's get going with HomeKit Secure Video. So one of the things that we really like about HomeKit Secure Video is uh, if it's anything like Apple's previous technologies like iMessage, which is also end-to-end -end encrypted, is that Apple's done this in a way that they can't decrypt it. So these things are completely secure and if you're doing something like you know your home videos, your home security recordings like that, you do want those to be very secure and encrypted. So this is a really nice way to do it. Now this does store its video inside of iCloud and if you are already paying for iCloud storage, it's gonna be bundled in there. So if you have the 200 gig plan, you'll have 10 days of storage for one camera. And if you go up to the two terabyte plan, which is $10 a month or $9.99, that'll give you 10 days of storage for up to five cameras. So that's definitely the better deal if you've got a lot of cameras going on, it gives you a lot more um, room to work with there. And that storage does not count against your iCloud plan. So just because you have 10 days worth of storage from five cameras, isn't gonna chip away your two terabytes. That's completely separate. So you do get a good bang for your buck with HomeKit Secure Video. Now the first thing you know is you do need a compatible camera to go with it. As we mentioned, there's a lot of ones that will support, but right now you're limited to the Logitech Circle 2. Once you've updated the Logitech app and done all the requisite updates, you can enable it within the settings of that camera and it will no longer work in the Circle 2 app, but it'll solely work here inside of Apple's Home app. The camera will appear inside of the Home app, same as it always does. It looks pretty familiar. It doesn't look really any different than it normally does. But once you jump into there, you'll be able to see that along the bottom, there is a timeline. So that timeline allows you to go back and forth through any of the recordings that you already had. Now, out of the gate, you may not have any recordings, so you may not see that timeline where you can go back to, but you can go back to any other recordings that you saw. Now, the important part is, is probably going into settings and configuring this how it should be correctly set up for you. So tap on that gear icon in that top left-hand corner. Now you can see we can control a lot of different stuff, including those streaming and recording options. Here you can set privacy controls for whether you're at home or whether you're on the road. So maybe when you're home, you want this to just detect activity. You don't want to record anything, you don't want anyone to be able to stream, but you still want to be able to trigger uh, notifications or any automation that you have set up based on motion. Then you can set up for while you're away, you want to stream and be able to record because you want to record any mischief that happens when you're not around. And then of course, if you go into recording options, you can choose what exactly you're choosing to record. Do you want just all motion or do you want to break it down a little bit to only doing when people are detected or when animals or vehicles are detected? And you can include whether or not to record audio. And at the bottom, you can erase all the recordings from this particular camera. Going back into settings, you also have toggles for turning off the camera status light and the night vision light. So two additional settings that were not exposed here inside of the home app previously before HomeKit Secure Video. Now these may just apply to the Logitech Circle 2. As other cameras come out, we'll have to see how they play with the home app. But right now, HomeKit does give you additional options for the Circle 2 camera. So let's get into the actual recording interface for using the uh, recordings of HomeKit Secure Video. When you put up again along the bottom, it'll say live, but you can scrub back to the left and see any recordings that happened while you were away. And they'll even be denoted with a little icon that lets you know if it was a person, a vehicle, uh, an animal, whatever it may be. So it gives you a little bit more specificity when you're looking back on previous recordings to know what you're looking for. And when you find something that you're looking for, you can tap on that share sheet icon to export it out of there. Maybe save it to your files app, share it in a message, save it to the camera roll, whatever it may be. And you can then delete that footage too. So if there's something recorded that you didn't mean to record, you can go ahead and delete that or if you just want to free up some space. A lot of stuff that we've seen before is still also here. You can tap on that little grid icon in that bottom right hand corner, which brings up any other accessories that are in that room with that camera or outside, wherever it may be. And if you tap on the little down icon at the top, it allows you to choose between any of your other cameras. So if many other HomeKit cameras enabled, you can quickly switch between them from this view. And of course, when you're playing back a video, you can go up to the top and you can choose between the date picker. So if you wanna go back a few days to find some other footage, you can do that. 
So that is it. That is HomeKit Secure Video. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your thoughts. So reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and pick up yourself a Circle 2 from Logitech down below at the links in the description.